Games with Jeff. I've got great news today, folks. I finally made it to 120 on the beta. I know, I know, it took forever, but that's because I was playing a bunch of other classes and making videos and not really focusing on leveling. But now it's done. I've got my first ever 120, and that character is the Survival Hunter. Hooray! So I thought it would be fun to celebrate my recent achievement by making a video where I could discuss some of the different possible talent builds for survival, as well as how much I'm currently enjoying each of those builds. To be honest, what spurred my interest in making this video was just how much I ended up liking talents that I didn't think I'd end up enjoying. It's fun to experiment around a bit, and having done that, I feel like survival has a variety of options and builds that, hopefully, depending on tuning, will end up being viable. The first build I want to talk about is what I'd call the generic build, or maybe the mostly passive talent build. The idea here is that we're taking a bunch of stuff that buffs abilities we already have. It also allows the hunter a bit of leeway in using their abilities right on cooldown, because Alpha Predator gives Kill Command an extra charge, while Guerrilla Tactics gives Wildfire Bomb an extra charge as well. For these reasons, this is a great build for someone who is just starting out as survival. In addition, both Bloodseeker and Tip of the Spear are easy to use, and both may well end up being the best choice on the respective tiers for raid content anyway. Now Wildfire Infusion is an interesting talent, and I like the way it makes the spec a bit less predictable. It works very well in this build, I think, because all the other talents are passive and as such influence our basic rotation very minimally. That allows the player to spend more time worrying about this talent. You'll need to track when Shrapnel Bomb is being cast, and make sure to use Raptor Strike three times in order to take advantage of the full effect of the bleed that it provides. Pheromone Bomb makes it so that Kill Command has a 100% chance to reset, allowing the hunter to spam this ability to quickly regain focus. As long as the hunter makes sure to spend all their focus just before they use Pheromone Bomb, this could end up being really beneficial. The buff of Volatile Bomb, which causes Serpent Sting to do a burst of damage and refreshes its duration, is also good and worth tracking. So this talent offers a bit more complexity to the spec and raises the skill ceiling without effectively raising the floor too much. Not taking full advantage of this talent isn't going to ruin your DPS the same way dropping Machnathal and Legion would have. <laughs> I think I still suffer from a bit of PTSD from having played with that talent. I'm so glad that it's gone. And for those who really want to start out with the simplest survival build, the talent Birds of Prey is a boring but likely pretty strong talent that takes very little extra cognitive power to take advantage of. Depending on the length of the boss fight and timing of certain phases, it will almost certainly be the best option on at least a couple of encounters. The second build is built around buffing the damage the Serpent Sting does, and should perform well in many AoE situations. Viper's Venom allows the hunter to cast Serpent Sting much more often for no focus cost, while Hydra's Bite causes the ability to hit two more targets, for a total of three, and also increases its damage. I used this build quite a bit when I was doing dungeons and found that the buffed Serpent Sting was surprisingly powerful. On the other hand, Butchery was recently buffed, which was very much needed as it was unable to compete with Hydra's Bite previously. My hope though is that they buff it a bit more, because it still feels weaker compared to the other two options on this tier. For really quick burst AoE situations, it might end up, it might end up being the best, but it's a shame that an ability with such a cool animation is languishing on such a competitive tier. I'd really like for Blizzard to nerf Butchery and instead make it baseline and remove Carve, and then change this talent to buff Butchery so that it's a bit better than it currently is on beta. The Carve animation is garbage and Butchery looks very cool, and right now survival is in sore need of better animations. Don't even get me started on the green acid eagle throwing. Please Blizzard, please make that look like something more fitting for survival hunters. Murder of Crows is an interesting choice, and wasn't really competitive until they nerfed Bloodseeker a bit. I'm not a fan of crows because it always felt really lame to me. You push this button and a few crows fly down and do intermittent damage. It just didn't really feel impactful or interesting to me. The fact that it resets when you kill a mob is a nice bonus though, and for anyone who's looking for more buttons to push to survival, it can be a good talent to take. Speaking of extra buttons, I also selected Shock Rooms, which is currently not doing so great after the buff to Wildfire Infusion and the general easiness and usefulness of Birds of Prey. I really like the ability because it looks cool, and also because the need to aim it synergizes well with the need to aim Wildfire Bomb. After moving to get into position for Bomb, it feels good to have another ability that needs to be cast in the same way. I quit using it though as much as I like it because it just currently doesn't do as much damage as the other options, and also because Wildfire Infusion is enjoyable and makes Wildfire Bomb have a few cool looking animations. The third build is pretty similar to the last build, to be fair, but I'm calling this one the Oh My God, I Miss Legion Survival build. The whole deal with this build is taking Mongoose Bite, which was the core component of the spec at Legion. I'll admit that I was annoyed when they made it a talent. I felt at first like they absolutely should have made it baseline and required. 
Now I've played beta for a while and the new system has grown on me. I didn't really use Mongoose Bite until it was recently buffed. A huge buff, by the way, because it was tuned so poorly at first. It took me a bit to get back into the groove of Mongoose Bite, but I, I still enjoy the way it plays. For folks who would like more of a challenge, I suggest taking it. But I'd avoid taking too many of the other thought-intensive talents so that you can focus on making sure that you're really pulling off your bite windows correctly. It's fairly unforgiving if you make a mistake, but not as much as it was in Legion, since it only stacks to 5 now. Flanking Strike was the name of a Legion ability, but the talent bears no resemblance to it at all. It's a travesty, really. <laughs> I'm kidding, but really the talent isn't especially useful right now. If Tip of the Spear ends up being tuned low and people don't want to deal with Mongoose Bite, then maybe it'll see some action. My guess is that won't end up being the case, though. I hope Blizzard does something with it. Hopefully removes it or makes it revert kill command back to the old Legion version of Flanking Strike, which could be fun, but I doubt they'll bother at this point. Now I know, every single video about Survival Hunter I complain about the fact that killing enemies and refreshing Harpoon has been added to Terms of Engagement instead of being baseline, and this video is no exception. The other two talents on the 15 row are significantly better than Terms, and I really hope that developers will make the refreshing thing baseline again, and instead change this talent to make it actually interesting. How about also add a bleed effect that it does? Maybe a fairly low damage bleed that lasts a really long time. That could see some use and perhaps compete with the talents that are there now. Overall, I feel like Survival Hunter has a fairly impressive array of interesting talents with one or two duds. Players should have the opportunity to select a number of different builds if the developers do a good job of tuning talents so that nothing is a, like, must-have talent. Of course, that's easier said than done, and I imagine at least one tier will be dead because everyone has to select a certain talent, or else they won't be able to do competitive damage. Hopefully that's not the case, though, and we have some real choices. I'd like to take a second to thank the folks who donate to support the channel on Patreon. For only a dollar a month, you can help me make these videos. Without their support, this wouldn't be possible, so thank you very much, guys. There are links to my Patreon, my Twitter, and my Facebook page in the description below. Thanks, folks. Keep on surviving, and I'll see you next time.